Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every single time I upload. But today's video is gonna be all around how to fix frizzy hair. So I'm gonna share all my tips and hacks on how to manage frizzy hair, how to make your hair less frizzy if that is your hair struggle, because I know for me, that is one of my biggest hair struggles. Comment down below what is one hair struggle that you have, because maybe I will do a whole video around that hair struggle. Thumbs it up if you guys like the video, share it, and if you want, you can follow me on my Instagram. It's just at NicolettaXLYT. It's always linked down below, but on that note, let's just jump right into the hair tips. <laughs> Tip number one is to choose the right shampoo. And things you wanna look for is to look for a sulfate-free and a glycerin-packed shampoo. You really wanna look for hair products that have glycerin in the ingredients and as well as you want it to be higher up on the ingredient list because the higher the ingredients are, those are the ingredients most used. Glycerin helps to combat frizz by penetrating the hair and hydrating it from the inside out. You wanna also make sure that your shampoo is sulfate-free because sulfate is a very common ingredient and shampoo because it does lather your hair but the downside is it really strips the natural oil out of your hair while sulfate free shampoos really allow your hair to keep its natural oil and it's going to make it more hydrated and in turn is going to make your hair look less frizzy the shampoo and also the conditioner that I've been loving when it comes to frizzy hair and if you're ever looking in the market for a shampoo that targets frizzy hair is the living proof no frizz shampoo and I also use the living proof Proof no frizz conditioner. This is really great to help to combat frizzy hair. So I always like to switch between these shampoos and I definitely recommend it. I will link it in the description box for you guys to go check out. I am not sponsored. It's just a really great shampoo to target frizzy hair. <laughs> And that leads me to tip number two, which is always have a good conditioner. The power of a conditioner is often underestimated, but it really makes such a big difference to your overall hair health. You wanna make sure that you use a conditioner every single time that you shampoo. So after you shampoo, always follow up with that conditioner. This will ensure that it keeps the cuticle hydrated so moisture can really penetrate deep into the scalp. So when it does come to your conditioner, you still wanna look for a product that does have glycerin in it and you wanna look for other hydrating agents in it including things such as shea butter and like I said I do use the living proof no frizz conditioner to match with the shampoo but by using conditioner this will really prevent the cuticle from opening up and letting excess moisture from the environment in which will keep it smooth so that you don't have any frizzies <laughs> Number three is to co-wash, which is to only use conditioner on your hair. So it is really bad to constantly wash your hair every single day or even every other day because it does strip the natural oils out of your hair. But if you feel like you really need to wash your hair and your hair needs a little pick-me-up, skip the shampoo and just go in with the conditioner. This is called co-washing. So instead of using your shampoo, you're going to use that conditioner only. You might think your hair needs to be shampooed several times a week, but it actually does not need to. Why it's fine to just use conditioner is because conditioners do contain a small amount of surfactant, which is what shampoos use to cleanse your hair. As well, conditioners do contain a small amount of oil, which attaches to the oils in the hair, cleansing it away. And this is just going to really help keep your hair at optimum pH as you are replenishing the moisture and ensuring that all the natural oils in your hair is not being stripped away. So that is why it is completely fine to sometimes go in with just washing your hair with a conditioner. <laughs> Tip number four is to use a hydrating mask once a week. So keeping your hair hydrated really prevents your hair cuticles from opening up and letting moisture in, which is the biggest contributor to frizzy hair. So look for products that have coconut oil in it or castor oil. These are really great ingredients to help with frizzy hair and to help hydrate your hair. But I do have two DIY hair masks that you could do that's amazing for dry frizzy hair. This first mask I'm going to share is a great repairing mask and all your going to need is one tablespoon of organic coconut oil and then you're just going to need one tablespoon of organic honey. 
All I did is I put this into a little bowl. Once you have the two together, you can go ahead and put this mixture into a pot. And I just put it on the pot until it melted completely. You wanna make sure that the coconut oil and everything is melted. So once you did that, you're just gonna put it back into a small bowl and then you can go ahead and apply it all over your hair from the top to the bottom. So making sure that you cover all of your hair. Once you do this, you just put on that shower cap and you can keep it anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and this is really going to help it penetrate in the hair. Once you have your mask on for that long then you're just going to wash it out with some warm water and you can go ahead and wash it with your shampoo and conditioner. Like I said if you really want to help control your frizzy hair definitely use the shampoo and conditioner I talked about because this whole combo with the hair mask I'm telling you you're going to notice such a big difference your hair is going to be so much less frizzy and I love the combination but coconut oil really helps keep your hair soft it prevents hair breakage and because of its high moisture retaining capabilities coconut oil is loaded with fatty acids so it really penetrates the hair more deeply than a regular conditioner and so it will lead to soft silky shiny hair and the honey is also really great at restoring moisture and retaining that moisture so overall you're just going to notice that your hair looks so much more moisturized, soft, and the frizziness is just going to go away. DIY mask number two is great for dry hair. All you're going to need is two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then I put about one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I put that into a bowl and mixed it all together. Once you have your mixture, all you have to do is apply it to the hair from the top to the bottom. I also really like to concentrate it on the scalp because it is really great for getting rid of any residue and buildup that you have on your hair but once you do apply the mixture you're going to keep it on for 30 minutes to an hour I put a shower cap as always and then I went ahead and rinsed it out and followed it with my shampoo and conditioner but brown sugar is great because it is a great exfoliant for the hair that really helps to get rid of those dead skin cells from your scalp and any leftover residue buildup while the extra virgin olive oil is used as a natural conditioner to really treat dry hair. It's also really great for preventing hair breakage, split ends, and even flyaways. And it's just going to give your hair that soft, shiny look as well so that it is going to really help tame those frizziness. And a lot of the time why our hair is frizzy is because our hair is just so dry and there's no moisture. Either mask is really going to give that moisture to the hair and help with that frizziness. <laughs> is to incorporate coconut oil into your hair routine. Coconut oil is great for the hair, especially for frizz, and it's important to look for pure organic coconut oil. You can use coconut oil as a weekly mask, but if you're looking to quickly fight off frizz or to quickly get rid of frizz, just take a pea-sized amount of the coconut oil, rub it together, then smooth it over the flyaways as a on-the-go frizz fighter. Make sure, of course, that you're using not too much coconut oil. A little goes a long way, and if you use too much, it's obviously going to make your hair look super oily. <laughs> Tip number six is to use heat tools on a low setting. Though a lot of us, I feel like, think that heat tools really do help tame the frizz, this is not necessarily true and it doesn't actually help to tame the frizz. Anything that is above 365 degrees has the potential to swell the cuticle, which will actually end up doing more harm than good. A safe range for your heating tools is anywhere between 200 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit in order to ensure minimal damage. Having patience and holding the hair on the tool a little bit longer rather than amping the heat will actually create a sleeker frizz free look in the end. I always used to think the hotter the better when it comes to taming frizz but it's actually true if you go a little bit lower on the settings you will notice such a big difference in the overall health and shine of your hair. <laughs> Tip number seven is to use a leave-in conditioner before you work out. So this is an amazing tip for if you're someone that works out all the time. So something that you should be doing before you go to your workout session is to spritz in some leave-in conditioner and then pull your hair up. The sodium in your sweat can actually dehydrate your hair, making it prone to extra frizz and breakage. So you wanna always make sure that you apply this before you head out to a sweating session. <laughs> 
And the last tip I have for you is to avoid the towel rub. By rubbing your hair and towel drying it with a towel, it is very rough and leads to unnecessary friction and damage to the hair. So something I personally like to do once I shower is just to squeeze gently out the water and let your hair just air dry. Before you jump into your shower, make sure that you brush your hair out so that you don't have, you're not left with a ton of knots as well. That always makes your hair process a lot simpler once you're done your shower. So make sure you do brush before, but it's better to just let your hair air dry naturally and not to put that roughness onto your hair. But those are all of the tips to help fix frizzy hair or how, how to avoid frizzy hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my family. I would love Love for you guys to be a part of it and click the bell to be notified every single time I upload like this but on that note I will catch you guys in my next video bye